Welcome to the continuation of videos that Mayor Balderman started once COVID-19 uh, came into our lives. With me today is Emily Johnson, CEO of the New Lenox Chamber of Commerce. And we are here today to talk to you about how we are working with businesses now um, and have in, in, the, in the past to be able to become successful and be sustainable. Emily? So one of the things that we are, um, that Nancy and I work really closely on, we work as a team quite often and restaurants have been at the forefront of, of our whole shelter in place. It started with carry out curbside delivery pickup and now that we entered phase three we got into outdoor seating which today we're here at Gina's Teardrop Cafe um, and their outdoor space. Um, this is our the Chamber's Business of the Year, so we're happy that she could welcome us to her patio today. But today we're going to talk about Phase 3, and as we start to go to Phase 4, what restaurants look like, why, and make sure that everyone knows that New Lenox restaurants really do take the precautions seriously and want to keep patrons and customers safe and well-fed. Yes. <laughs> so what is fit we're talking about what phase three looks like right now and what is phase four going to look like here in New Lenox? Well, we hope, depending on when you're watching the video, that by June 26, we'll enter phase four mm -hmm. and restaurants with indoor dining capacity can open. Yes, I know that we're all really excited about that, although a lot of the restaurants here in New Lenox have gone above and beyond to make sure that they have they've welcomed people into outdoor seating. Um, things like Gina's here, we've got Gatto's. Um, Arrowhead. Arrowhead Ales, um, The White Horse, Tom Kelly's, Chicago Doe has tables out front, um, beggars. Country Charm, mm -hmm. Beggars. A lot of our area restaurants that typically only welcome people inside have created these outdoor spaces. And I know the village was really great about helping those permits get pushed through so that they could make this happen. We did and it's it's important to note that the people that you just mentioned didn't have the outdoor capacity right. or they had a patio that they felt they wanted to expand to serve their customers. So we still have those restaurants like Three Corners or Cooper's Hawk that have had patios mm -hmm. and they're welcoming people just like the ones who got the permits to expand. It's it's great that we have the options and that you, the village has made that possible. Um, I know that a lot of people because we've been so secluded from each other mm -hmm. um, and that as we start to venture back out, people are nervous. I know, mm -hmm. I think it's a realistic thing that people feel mild, like they feel apprehension about going out to eat, even with their small groups or their families, the people that they've been with. Mm -hmm. But I think that Nancy and I, we talked to, I think almost eight diverse diverse restaurants. Yeah, very much. We talked to breakfast places, pizza places. Corporate. Uh, corporate, like corporate chain restaurants. Um, privately owned places to get a feel for what are people doing to help keep um, their customers safe. And I think that New Lenox really is stepping up. Oh gosh, um, yes. They take, from everyone we talk to, I think the general consensus really is the cleanliness of tables. Everyone's eliminating, um, if they don't, if they haven't already, they've eliminated their paper menus. They've gone to disposable menus. Mm -hmm. um, the ones that just, you, t you use, and then I'm done with it, so it goes in the garbage mm -hmm. um, to really kind of eliminate any kind of sharing of germs. Yes. Yeah. And um, also the disposable um, condiments. Yes. As well as the silverware yep. and things like that. Um, and offering their customers assurances that it's okay to be there. And, and mm -hmm. they are following, the restaurants are following the Illinois Department of Public Health and the um, CDC, CDC recommendations. guidelines. Definitely. Exactly. And most of them all, I know that here at Gina's, and I've seen it at a multiple other restaurants in town that I've, I've ventured out to, they have signs posted that yes. remind people to wash their hands, use hand sanitizer. Um, their staff is frequently washing their hands. Um, they are wearing masks when they wait on you. Mm -hmm. um, the bus boys have gloves on. I mean, yes. it's your table, once you're done, mm -hmm. your table is before and the next group can sit down. It's completely disinfected. Mm -hmm. So you can feel comfortable and you can feel safe knowing that you are going out to eat in an environment that is safe and, and Disinfected. Disinfected. Yeah. Which I think we're all really into right now. Oh, we are. It's, my gosh. It's my current hobby at home is disinfecting <laughs> everything. Um, and I think that as we go to phase four, because we talk to the restaurants too, not just about what they're doing right now, but about what's going to look like in phase four when mm -hmm. they start to welcome people back inside. Mm -hmm. And they, all of them, I think, just had a resounding, well, of course, like those practices, we're already doing them inside our doors. I know that when I talked to Gina and Tim from the owners of Chicago Doe, they said the things that we 
the, the guidelines and the stipulations and the recommendations that we've received, a lot of those things we were already doing. That's what Tom Kelly said as well. Yeah, you know, they we've were upped all, our game. We've upped the game. Yeah. That is, I think, the general consensus that everyone yeah. has was already kind of doing mm -hmm. these things. They were already maintaining such excellent standards mm -hmm. for cleanliness and safety in their kitchens and their restaurants that but they, now they've really just stepped it up exactly and they're ready i think everyone is just ready to get people back in the seats indoors they are they are and if it's like today out when it's 90 air conditioning is going to be great i'm excited <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about resources that we have available to the community already sure um, one of the things that um, Nancy and I worked really hard on was to go through a list of all of the restaurants in New Lenox. And we put together a list, um, and so it's on the Chamber website, it's on the Village's website, um, it's on our Facebook pages as well. Um, and it's a link to a, an online document where you can see who offers takeout, um, carryout, patio dining, um, and delivery. And I, and I believe that once we get into phase four, we may look at re-editing that document to include indoor dining. And um, catering. And catering as yeah. well, because as we get into phase four, larger groups are, it you, can, you can expand into larger groups and we know that people will be wanting to get to their, their families and friends and catering is gonna be a thing again. Yes. So. There was no reason to do it before when it was 10 or less people in a gathering, yeah. but now it could be 50, could so, be. Yeah, so that's um, one of the things that we've worked together to do and what else, Nancy? Well, I think that restaurants did a really good job of looking into what they needed to do on their own, mm -hmm. um, but there were also resources that we provided them. And yes. for example, um, if there were loan opportunities to keep them afloat during the time that the stay-at-home order was imposed, or um, suggestions like touch points that need to be disinfected but from the Illinois Restaurant Association, mm -hmm. just our reaching out to them, I I've gotten a lot of feedback for both of us and I think that's important. We we care about all of our businesses. We do. We do. We've, and, and I mean, we want, I I've said it a thousand times and I'll say it again, that I don't want us just to come, I don't want the New Lenox business community to come out of this surviving. I want us to come out thriving. Mm -hmm. And I think that us knowing that our businesses and our restaurants care about us and they care about our safety and they care about that sounds bad to say they care about themselves but they do they care about they their, it's their, their business and their livelihood so yeah. they are invested to make sure that they can stay open and that we all stay open yes and that we are living in a positive safe manner as we continue to go forward so you know, I think you're hearing that we support, we want you to support our local businesses. They need you now, the community, more than ever, because really in the end, we all win by shopping local. 